Well, hello, you glorious humans of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Online. It's another beautiful morning, and it's Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. That means we've got a new Red Dead Online update, and uh, it's more drip feed content, but I am hoping that we get the jobs that everyone is desiring earlier rather than later. Um, so probably thinking late June, maybe in July. I don't think that they're going to release it all the way out in August. Just because they need to capitalize on the momentum that they've had from starting to get people back from the current update. Um, but today we got a new showdown series, Head for the Hills. A new free room event, which is the uh, the animal killing free room event of Doom. At which I have not seen pop yet, but free room events have been popping more often lately. So I do hold out hope that I'll be able to play this and actually show it off for you guys. Because I didn't get the fishing one until yesterday. That's how long it took me to get that fishing event. That was ridiculous. First time I ever seen it was yesterday. Um, but we do have some new clothes. And I know you guys love some clothes. Let's check them out. Now, I know for a fact we have a new hat. And uh, a new shirt. Which is actually nice. So we've got a limited stock raccoon hat. This thing is hideous. It's hideous, but it's a raccoon hat. So if you're looking for a big old thing to put on your head, you got it. Your dreams have come true. It's $151 or seven gold bars to put this giant furry freak of nature on your head. You get a big old raccoon tail, so that's kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> now this thing is redonkulous. I guess the only one I like is that one. I don't really like any of the other colors. This is the only one you can really tell that it's a raccoon other than just having a giant fuzzy thing on your head. Yep. So, yeah. This one. That's the one I would buy. $151 or 7 gold bars. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want a big old furry thing to put on your head, go for it. Now, the Caldwell hat, all the free stuff is still free on the PlayStation. I do not know if it's been released on the Xbox yet. It's usually like three to four weeks before that stuff arrives. Um, now, shirts. I believe this is the only other new piece of clothing we got. And I actually really like this shirt. It's the uh, the padded shirt. There's a lot of really nice options here. And uh, I've been waiting for another kind of not super duper fancy kind of shirt with a lot of different colors. So this is probably one of my favorite shirts. I'm not going to lie. It's a $48.50 or two gold bars. I believe none of them are more expensive than that. Yeah. Look at that purple one. I'm going to make some kind of pimp outfit with this thing. Mm-hmm. It's going to be great. I really wish they would bring these gloves back. Everybody's asking me where I get the gloves that I have equipped. These, like, fur glove things. And um, they've been removed from the game, but I'm going to see. I didn't check if any of the gloves or bandanas or anything were updated. Uh, so looks like we still have the Arkwright gloves. So that has not been updated. Um, bandanas. I don't think we got anything new. I always forget to look through here, but I never look through here because there's never anything new. There we go. And there was a, a set of free spurs last week that I never reviewed. I didn't really like the look of them either, uh, but there are a pair of Stanger studded boots, studded boots, studded spurs back here that you can purchase if you really want to buy them. They are free after all. Um... But I already have spurs that I like, so I, I don't foresee myself really using these. Uh, but they are for free on the PlayStation if you really want to pick them up. I do believe that is all of the clothes that we have. We didn't get any suspenders, no chaps, nothing like that. And um, aside from that, we were all really hoping that the quote-unquote and more was going to be a all lot right. more. Have a think about it. Because <laughs> so far, it looks like the and more that they left for this week's update was the hat and the shirt. I've not been able to find anything else. A lot of people were speculating that we we're going to be getting character editing today. But unfortunately, I've not been able to find a way to edit the character. Um, if I do find a way to edit the character, I will most definitely let everybody know. I've gone to the barber. There's no new. There's nothing new there. As far as that goes, you can't go into the player menu to try and edit your character. And there's nothing in the store. You can delete your character through the through here. Uh, but that's about it. I don't think there was any options in here. Honor, wait. Hostility, no. So you can't do anything in here. 
My weight is average. Stamina drain weight plus... Oh my god. And damage taken for being average weight? What, do I need to eat more? Oh my god. I eat so much. My character should weigh like 50 billion pounds at this point. It's absolutely ridiculous. So one thing I do have to say is it seems like the servers are running a little bit better, but that may very well be because it is the butt crack of dawn here and um, nobody's playing. But I do hope that Rockstar has done a lot to make the servers more stable. I did mention the other day or the past few days that the servers each day have becoming a little bit better as far as stranger missions go. Still plagued with blue screens and disconnects and stuff like that. Uh, but so far, things seem pretty good. Now, I was hoping... Oh my god, that aim though, man! I was really hoping that I'd be able to showcase the free roam hunting event. Uh, but I haven't gotten it to spawn yet. I figured maybe if I run around, I'll actually be able to get some stuff here. Uh, but regardless, not a lot of things added today. Next month, we're going to get some good stuff. For it. There's one showdown series and then the uh, Railroad Baron free roam event. So it definitely does not seem like we're going to be getting a lot of content before the summer update. And uh, so I'm really, really hoping that we get the, the jobs in late June, like right after summer. like the So that way they can continuously start offering content. So I'm wondering if maybe that's like what we're going to be getting is like once a month towards the latter end of the month for an update. Especially if they want to keep up that promised, you know, weekly updates where you get a, a big update once a month and they drip feed content for the rest of the month. That seems like a surprising, like a, a realistic expectation, I suppose. But then again, it's not really, it's like every two months and then we get drip fed for like a month and a half or something like that. And there's like two weeks in between where we go without content. I would be perfectly fine with that, especially with the jobs coming. That's going to drastically and oh, stupid bird what you get for being a ground bird dumb thing um but having the jobs should drastically increase the amount of things we're able to do in the world um even just having one job would would change it change the dynamic of free roam a lot but now that we'll have three the bouncy hunter collector and the trader I think things are going to start getting a lot better. Uh, right now in free roam, basically your main choices are hunting and doing stranger missions. And not that I have any opposition to any of that, because those are some of my favorite things to do. Uh, but definitely having some variety is going to make it a lot better, because everything that's enjoyable does become repetitive at some point. So I'm definitely looking forward to having the jobs available and getting these special gear from those jobs. Um, that they've stated. Even special weapons, I do believe that maybe each class will have its own special weapon type would be really nice. Uh, I don't know what kind of weapons each job would get, but I am looking forward to the concept of it. Now, typically, we get each week some kind of bonus to something we're able to do within Red Dead Online, and uh, last week we had a money and gold increase for all the, um, the showdown series, basically, literally for everything in the game. Uh, this week, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like we have anything I can find. Um, we, I guess we have to wait for an update from Rockstar to see exactly what the bonus is for this week. I have a feeling it might be... Well, I haven't found anything in the catalogs that are cheaper either, so... I'm not 100% sure, but there's no game modes that are reduced. And if we go into the menu, uh, there are no stranger dangers that are offering better rewards either. Because uh, it would show up with, like, a money or a gold icon on that. And, um, maybe main missions, I suppose, but I can't find any bonus. I haven't been getting anything else for killing stuff. Maybe there'll be some kind of advantage, like an increase in income from selling animal parts. I'm not 100% sure. If we go to quick join for story missions? No. Nothing there. I guess that's something we're just going to have to wait for Rockstar to showcase for us. Now, daily challenges. Cooked seasoned plumped bird. Cooked seasoned succulent fish. Mm. Herb picking contest completed. Best contest ever. Jumped from a horse to another horse. Multiplayer kills in seconds in Posse versus. Ah. And non player enemies trampled. Ooh, nice. Sheep skinned. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any sheep left in the game. I was looking for goats last night for our live stream and could not find a single goat anywhere. I wonder if at least that's been fixed. 
So it seems like goat spawns are still not fixed, which means there's probably not going to be any sheep in the game either. The chances of us being able to complete this, um, all seven activities in the daily challenges is going to be pretty slim, but I am still very excited about Red Dead Online and for Red Dead Online and going into the future. Lots of good things. We should be getting a PC announcement pretty soon. I'm anticipating it being around um, E3 and then probably releasing either in like October or early 2020. Uh, regardless, very excited about the PC version. Uh, mods are going to do huge things for... Oh my god, it's a sheep! Oh, it's a Christmas freaking miracle. I couldn't find any of you guys the other day. Oh, I need to skin three of you. You don't even know what kind of massacre is coming your way today. Poor little sheep. It's going to be a disaster. Uh, but yeah, the PC version is going to be huge for, for mods, especially if we get an RP mod similar to how GTA works. Well, maybe not similar to how it works, but the similar concept would be pretty amazing and would make Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC the most amazing thing since Amazing Things was even a thing. Um, but anyways, uh, nothing terribly exciting today. If at some point maybe I just woke up too early and there's just some things that I, I can't access yet, I don't know. Uh, but if I learn of anything, especially with the character editing capabilities, I will let you all know, so keep an eye out on the channel. And once I get the actual hunting event, I'll make sure to cover that on the channel as well, because that's one of the things I'm actually really excited about. So uh, keep an eye out on the channel for that. Wow! Would that end? Okay, it's time to end the episode. I'll see you all in the next one.